Hi, this is Mike Conaway, and uh, I was uh, fortunate to be able to travel to the Middle East just before Christmas in 2008, brought back these pictures. Here are a couple of young Marines in Afghanistan at Camp Barber who are the recipients of some uh, uh, Christmas goodies that I brought uh, on behalf of the folks in San Angelo, Texas, and community, uh, uh, First Community Federal Credit Union actually provided those. Uh, this is a shot in Kuwait the night before, and uh, just I thought it was interesting that in a Muslim country they'd be celebrating a secular Christmas, uh, which uh, obviously we celebrate to uh, recognize the birth of Lord Jesus Christ. This is in Iraq. These are mine-resistant vehicles that have been developed over the last two or three years to protect our men and women from uh, the IED threat that has been so uh, uh, significant in Iraq and now beginning in Afghanistan. Now, this is the inside of one of those MRAP vehicles. We are gearing up to head to Salman Pak, which is a small community about 50 miles uh, south of Baghdad. These are uh, some of our uh, escorts and protective uh, our folks who are there to protect us. Getting out of the uh, Salman Pak, this is near the uh, town center, but it's the palace from, uh, from an era in which uh, Salman the Persian had come into Iraq. He was a, a constituent or a, a, a contemporary with Mohammed. This arch that you see here is the largest freestanding brick arch in the world. It's also the oldest in the world. It's about 1,800 years old. Uh, Iraq has an opportunity for a significant uh, archaeological uh, industry. Uh, much of, uh, of uh, early history was in this part of the world, and to the extent that they can uh, get the peace uh, in Iraq and develop an archaeological industry, it's going to be uh, very dr uh, dramatic as the world begins to explore these, uh, uh, these sites. And the Iraqi government is doing what it can to protect them, uh, and obviously the, this has been cleaned up from what it would have uh, normally expected it. These are Iraqi soldiers who uh, are in charge of this area, and uh, they're uh, uh, in great relationship with, the, uh, with our military. You just saw a good shot of some kids playing soccer. This is the street in front of the mayor's office. It's uh, you know, obviously commerce is going on, and people are freely coming and going. Uh, you'll see a shot of a police car here in a second. It's a part of the, the normal patrolling that goes on in, the, in any city of the world, and, and Iraq is trying to become as normal as they can. Um, the uh, mayor of uh, Salmon Pack is a, is a really good guy. He serves at some personal risks to himself. Anyone, who rack, anyone in Iraq, even today, who raises their hand and tries to lead is a target uh, for the remaining bad guys there. Uh, this mayor was expressing to us his particular concern over the opportunities for children and women in uh, Salmon Pack and the work he's doing to try to promote uh, their well-being. This is the market that opens up every afternoon uh, in the afternoons after work and uh, is a part of the uh, uh, shot coming back from Selman Pack. Next day we went to the 890th Engineering Brigade. I had a good chance to meet with some young Texans who are uh, serving in this brigade. It's a, it's a Texas company that's attached to it. This is an actual unmanned aerial vehicle. It's a test item that uh, this unit is testing on behalf of the Army to uh, see if uh, it can be effective as a, uh, a unit uh, uh, piece of gear that would uh, has a great camera in it, allow them to see over the horizon and over walls and those kinds of things. Uh, this this uh, route clearing uh, missions that this brigade is responsible for it uses gear like this. Uh, this is a one man operated uh, device that would go down the sides of the roads and uh, clear uh, and look for uh, IEDs and other mines and other threats to uh, convoys that would be coming by. This is a buffalo that I'm standing on top of. This is a really big uh, apparatus. It's a mine resistant vehicle as well and it's got this mechanical arm that is used to uh, clear uh, IEDs and, uh, and other potential threats uh, as our uh, uh, convoys run, and other, run up and down the roads uh, in Iraq. Moved on to Bahrain, again a secular example of, uh, of a Christmas tree there in, uh, uh, in Bahrain. This is the community that uh, we flew into. It's very modern, uh, very forward-looking. They've got a a lot of construction going on and a lot of things happening there. We went to Bahrain to talk to the commander of the 5th Fleet about the pirate threat off the Horn of Africa and what we're doing to interdict the pirate activity off that horn. This is an example of reclaimed land out of the middle of the Gulf. They're dredging up dirt and creating additional island to, uh, to build on as the uh, uh, growth of uh, Bahrain. This is off the uh, coast of uh, Dubai where the uh, uh, the Emirate has uh, begun to, to build islands in the shape, in this instance, of a palm tree. There's a, one at the top of the screen as well. A ca candid example of what, uh, you know, when money's no object, that you can do to uh, create additional uh, space. There'll be resorts built on this, uh, this island as well as the one to the top. They're also building one in the shape of the uh, world itself.
this is downtown Dubai where this uh, commercial activity is uh, exploding and uh, an awful lot of uh, activity going on with respect to uh, business there in, the, in Dubai as well as all of the Gulf. This is an example of uh, in Kabul now where uh, this uh, Turquoise Mountain Foundation is set up to promote uh, native uh, handicrafts and native art. Uh, this is woodworking, they're doing uh, pottery as well as uh, gym making in order to try to create sustainable jobs that uh, in Kabul uh, work on the economy, which uh, they need jobs that are totally unrelated to the uh, drug business that dominates much of the economy. This is Kandahar province we're flying into. This is the area in which uh, many of the new Marines and, sa and soldiers that uh, if President Obama wants to uh, continue the fight in Afghanistan will be going. Just a quick example of how rough and rugged that particular uh, part of the world is and that they're going to be operating in. This was a great trip. I enjoyed myself. Uh, the men and women that I was able to see uh, and talk to, their morale is good. Uh, they understand their mission and they are uh, doing what they believe is right for this country. We owe them a deep debt. We owe their families an even deeper debt as they pursue this, uh, this uh, fight against uh, Islamic Jihadism. Thank you for taking a quick look at this. I look forward to visiting with you when I'm back in the district and having a chance to talk to you one-on-one -on -one about uh, what I saw and uh, what I believe is uh, going forward we need to do with respect to the fight in Afghanistan as well as the uh, progress we're making in Iraq.